Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I am going to be doing a B6 Traveler's Notebook setup. I am so excited for this. Um, this is going to be my like back to work, back to school, back to regular life setup. Um, I am in my last week of maternity leave while I am filming this, so I am get, getting ready to head back to work next week. Um, I'm so excited to get this setup done, get out of my summer setup. I am loving this. It's like semi-fall, like non-traditional fall, not like fall colors or whatever, but it's very back to school. I have that bloomsicle um, back to school art as the base with a ton of other goodies thrown in. Um, everything as always will be linked down in the description below. I am gonna try and keep this video a little bit shorter than some of my previous B6 setups, so I'm going to be um, skipping some of the the crafting and some of the things that I usually do in the beginning, but um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Everything will be linked in the description below, and there will be timestamps if you want to jump around and a full flip through at the end. Okay, so I am going to get in, get started. So I'm not gonna do all of the usual stuff that I do, but I will show you this because it is a new planner. I did haul it. This is a B6 um, Botanical Orchard from Foxy Fix. So that is a number five on the Foxy Fix scale. It is like a lovely, most perfect shade of purple ever. And it has light purple stitching and powder pink elastics. And I do have a blind emboss Fox and Pippo on the spine. It is a compact and I did get these card pockets and the side pocket with the card pocket. No pen loop. This is my preferred Foxy Fix setup for like a non lush, non spice. Um, I have been in a couple of different configurations and I know now that this is my preferred way to have the pockets and fixings, etc. So I am really excited. I love this purple and this whole planner setup is going to be like purple, pink, and blue. So it's like giving me like major childhood vibes, which was that was like my favorite girly colors when I was little. But anyway, I am really excited and I am going to jump in. Okay, as usual, I have everything all pulled out and put together, um, um, and I, um, I just skipped a lot of the beginning stuff that I usually do, and I just, like, decided I would just sort of more try and talk it through it as I was going through. Anyway, um, so I bought the Bloomsicle clip art that went with, like, that sort of back-to-school, the one with all the bows and everything, um, and I printed this on cardstock and I printed double-sided with papers from that kit for my first dashboard so I made my own double-sided papers this is with like a thin cardstock and then I have this absolutely gorgeous journaling card here from a uh, peach bomb journaling dashboard whatever you want to call it and I love this I bought this came in a pack with like die cuts and a bunch of stuff I picked this up a while ago I've been hoarding it I have been hoarding stuff for this setup for a really long time and then was like I needed like a base to kind of like put together some of the things I have um, and so I just decided um, Bloomsicle had like a big summer sale um, I think at the beginning of the summer and I just bought some of her clip art some like a bunch of different arts but I especially bought like the whole thing for this back to school thing because um, I am doing this is more back to work um, but my back to work and back to school happened to coincide this year and it's actually my daughter's first to school so that is the front side of that so cute and then on the back I have like this chunky glitter paper and I have um, just these two die cuts that I am gonna put down and these die cuts are from uh, peach bomb as well and I am just gluing this time I like always try and save stuff but the truth is like you can get this stuff off like pretty easily and then if you can't doesn't come off easily you can undo it and honestly like I don't really reuse this stuff as much as like I would like to pretend that I do because there's always new setups to do okay so that is that I have these clear dash sleeves from 1407 planners which I am going to slide in um so I'm mostly the same inserts um as my summer setup which was in my lush but I do have some new inserts um some that I like have already just popped into my lush and some and one new one that I am just going to be like trying out for the first time oh. okay cool so I've got this down pretty pat now like you basically when you trim your papers you want to trim it to like um like one eighth below your dash sleeve si like size. So like not five inches, but like four and seven eighths. And then, you know, 
six and seven eighths and that is like that ensures that it fits in nicely so I do use like my Fiskars paper trimmer to trim that down and that is my my sort of pro tip for you there okay so then on the back okay so this is going to be a rose gold setup except I have just like one or two pops of silver um, and I'm just gonna do it and if it drives me crazy, I will take it out and put it in with something else. But honestly, this journaling card came with a Scribble Prince coat order. And like, just look at it. How could I not use it? So I didn't want to do a whole silver setup, especially with this art. It's like super rose gold. Um, I have been foiling a lot of things myself lately. I did uh, almost destroy my laminator in making this the stuff for this setup. Um, I was able to save it. It took like 30 minutes, a pair of scissors, a pair of tweezers, a screwdriver, and like a lot of elbow grease, but I was able to save my laminator. It's working fine. Um, but anyway, it was a very traumatic event and my husband was like on a work call and I was just like, we were both in the office, which we're never both in the office. I was just like on the floor, floor messing with this laminator and my husband was like trying to help this guy from work. Um, anyway, so this is again paper that I printed myself double-sided. Um, and yeah, it's, I just have like a regular, well, I have a laser printer too for foiling, but I have like, just like a, both of them honestly were super cheap, like, and I get pretty good quality from it. Like, you know, I, neither of the printers were more than like $90. Um, I have like an Epsom printer and it does like, as long as the ink is not running low, I feel like I am burning through ink doing these papers, but um, as long as the ink's not re learning low, I feel like if you haven't used it in a while, your first print comes out kind of weird. Um, so like the first paper I printed, was kind of streaky sorry it's hard to push that in and do that at the same time that one must have been a little bit bigger but that looks so cute um so the first paper you print it's kind of like can be a little bit streaky but if you print um a bunch at once then it, i feel like it gets better as you go through anyway you know if you don't find that i don't know but let me know if you find the same thing so anyway um that's for my first dash sleeve there. So I do recommend printing a bunch at once, which just actually makes it kind of easier to do anyways. So I like, this involved a lot more thinking in advance than my usual setups because basically I had to like plan what I wanted um, to, in order to do that. Okay, so then here is, um, here are my inserts that are gonna go in here. This is gonna get a jump in. I'm gonna try and squeeze seven inserts in this setup because I have, or something like that, something crazy, too many. Um, anyway, so I made these. Originally, I was going to make covers, but it got janky, and I ran out of foil, so I just decided that I was going to make little uh, little front ones in rose gold foil. Um, I had some problems with, like I said, laminator fight. Um, fortunately, laminator was saved. Unfortunately, it cost me like a half <laughs> like a half roll of rose gold foil. Not great. Anyway, so I have some Simply Gilded washi and I'm actually just gonna like straight up put this down with washi in like a semi decorative kind of fashion. So I think that'll be cute. Okay, so anyway, so I have two perpetual calendars from Decenia's Printables. I will just show you what this looks like. Um, they look the same. One is rounded, one is not, um, but they look the same. One I use as like a future log in Bullet Journal Speak. So that is like, if anything, is you know coming down the line that I need to remember more than um, a year, more than like a, the current week or the current month, whatever, um, I put it in there and I use that for pre-planning my monthly um, as well. I'm gonna do on the bottom here. Um, so anyway, so that is what that is. This is like the lavender from the sub box, so gorgeous. Um, and I think I'm gonna use the plaid on this one. So this is like my first insert. It is like, honestly, like, um, I won't say that. I was going to say this is like, it, this is one of my more important inserts, I would say, but I also like, this is an insert that I kind of have replicated digitally. Cause I do use a dig, uh, like a, a Google calendar as well. Um, so, you know, this, especially like one stuff that I need to sync with my husband. But this has like every event that I know for the year, um, like all appointments and schedules, no school, etc., uh, holidays, 
um, all that stuff. Okay, and then this, oh, this is my new obsession. Um, so this is from Rock Your Notebook. I am on the design team, so I have a code linked in the description below. I've been showing this on my plan with me. This cover is like, just stunning. It's like a blue shimmer cover. I need to get another shimmer cover one. Um, so this has Tomo River paper in it and that's just blank paper and I use this for listing and pre-planning. So it's just a plain blank insert. It just looks like that. All of her, her notebooks are hand stitched. Um, and then like Look at this. I've just been doing pre-planning while practicing my lettering, which is my new favorite thing. So anyway, this is like a pre-planning from my plan with me for that as has always already gone up. That was my last week of vacation. Um, but anyway, so I have been using this to do like sort of pre-planning and um, like some decorating. And honestly, like that, it's actually really helped me a lot because it makes me um, want to practice my lettering and I find it very relaxing. It's also like a little bit of uh, like journaling because you're just like kind of writing down what you did each day um, and then the other perpetual calendar I don't remember if I said this but it is I used it for line of day memory keeping I have this was a printable paper from Jessenia's printables with that gorgeous gorgeous adorable pen this I'm not going to put a cover on because it's got an amazing cover and then this I am going to put this happy scrappy paper on this is like all the way back from the April box which was the box that made me sign up for happy scrappy it is so cute um love this art it's also like rose gold I love rose gold so this you know everything had to go okay so then this is going to be a three jump jump band insert so i'm going to go um around this honestly like i did such a bad job in um in august with my line of day memory keeping but i am back at it i haven't missed a day in september yet and i did it all of the month of july so august i kind of just like took off i don't know how i'm gonna do my memory spread if i ever get to it um for August monthly. Um, I do have like all my weeks planned though, so it's not, I don't think it'll be that bad. Um, I like haven't planned a monthly in my Erin Codron since June, um, <laughs> do to do, do whatever. Um, I just, and I have kits for them. I've been like just saving it, but then like, I don't know, I just keep not wanting to do it. Um, uh, it's just kind of like an intense process. I haven't done that kind of like memory shoot before, um, but I didn't, I've been using my B6 for pre-planning and that's been working really well and I don't need like two monthly spreads. I, ba I like barely need one monthly pre-planning spread, honestly. I just like having it. Um, okay, and so then I'm gonna pop this in the middle. This is how I have it in my, have had it in my summer setup. That wasn't how I had it like in the beginning of summer, but it's been working really well for me. So I am gonna keep that going like that and that is pretty thick but it looks good okay so cool so that is my first set of inserts it's a set of three although they're all like pretty thin even the Tomo River one from Rock Your Notebook is fairly thin so that is like that and then okay so then the next one I am just doing a vellum with a um an acetate and I actually have a pocket on this acetate which is super cute um this is from a planner society box it was in a previous setup um so I am gonna leave that pocket on there um and this is another printable paper from planner society um and then this is my new weekly insert I am so excited about this I have a whole thing about this on my Instagram stories saved so check that out if you want but basically oh that's Sign is like a little bit uh, delicious, but that's okay. Um, I may, if I get more rose gold foil in, I may like reprint them or do covers. Again, this is from Rock Your Notebook. It's got, um, this is a printed insert though, and it's got uh, like the hand stitched binding, which is so nice. Um, I really, really do like the stitched notebooks. Um, but the reason that I'm so excited about this is I actually helped design this insert, so I am really excited. I showed this on my Instagram stories, but I will show you. It is a week on, uh, like a week on two pages with like an extra sheet of note listing, and then this is like sidebar width, um, so it's like the same. It'll fit an Erin Codron sticker kit, and this is like the size of two Erin Codron boxes. It's got free space, um, so I am hoping to do like more creative pen stuff, plus still be able to use my sticker kit in these. Um, this is large enough space to fit bottom washi. I'm just really excited to plan with these. I am about to start filming plan with me's in these starting for next week, um, so you can definitely stay tuned and check that out on my channel. I actually, I think that looks pretty cute. Like that. Um, mm, actually, I think I'm going to use, because this is so pink, I think I'm going to use um, pink washi. So let me just 
pull that up. Also, as you can see, the well, this is the cover is like a slightly different paper than um, the insert as well. But um, basically, it's the paper, and this is really lovely. It's like great for writing. It won't mess up your Tombos. It won't mess up your pens. Um, but it also is like. Um, it's super, it's more, it's like a lot more sticker friendly than, I mean, it can be tough when you print yourself. I've had like mixed results, but it also, um, it's, it's like a nice stickering paper and maybe like not quite as friendly for pulling things up as an Erin Codron, but pretty dang close. Um, I do have like a video, on, like a little highlight story on my Instagram um, save to my story, save to my highlights, so you can check that out. Yeah, I like that better. Anyway, I will save that purple washi because no washi left behind. Um, and anyway, so then that's just gonna look like that. And I do have a pocket on there, so I can stick sticky notes, I can stick whatever. I um, probably will put sticky notes in there. Um, let me find the center of this insert. As you can see, it is hand stitched and it is in white, so it matches with whatever. And then I am gonna stick this on, um, this second band right here. Um, really just so excited to film this. Um, I have like a giant pile for a haul that I need to film and like a memory spread that I meant to film. Um, okay, so now I need another dash sleeve. This one again, I'm going to try and jump in. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm trying to figure out my pocket situation here. Okay, so for my next one, I have this dashboard that I made myself. This is all Bloomsicle art, and this was a custom name from Jesenia's Printables Planner Sophisticate. Um, you could get them. It came with like a black one for foiling and like um, a color of your choice. So I did put the pink sparkly one here. Um, I think I might have one where I did the foil somewhere. If not, I've been doing it. Um, anyway, and then on the back of that, I did print some of that, more of that Planner Girl um, paper from Jesenia's printables as well. Um, I am running low on like adhesive pockets, so I decided to try, and I have them like from a million old setups, so I was trying to like find a set of dash sleeves that had the pocket configuration um, I already wanted on it. Um, so anyway, so I did, um, and I just had to like kind of wash them off a little bit. So I do have a pocket on the inside here over this paper, just a little pocket, and I am gonna put sticky notes in there. Um, and then on the back of this dash sleeve, I have um, this sort of setup. I printed another set of, made a double-sided paper for myself um, with this like rose gold foil, uh, glitter texture on the front and then that blue flower paper on the back and then I have um, this journaling card from Scribble Prints Co which I am gonna stick on here um, I love these like bow journaling cards that are they're just like very simple super cute um, like anyway I have a bunch of them because I shop at Scribble Prints Co a lot and I just I her bow is like honestly it's one of my favorite blows although these bloomsicle bows are like so Super, super cute too. Okay, and then on the back of this side, I have um, some die cuts that I wanted to do. Um, and this time, so that I wouldn't have to like, uh, so that I wouldn't have to like fuss around forever, I actually took pictures of how I wanted it set up um, so that I would remember. Because I feel like when I go through and I put this together, I like. I'm like, oh, that's so great. And then when I, when it comes time to like do it, I'm like, wait, how did I have that? Um, and then I don't, I'm like, I feel like I like this better before. Um, anyway, so this um, and this are die cuts from that Peach Palm Boss Babe, whatever you want to call it, pack. It came like, I have, I bought a pack of the die cuts um, and then there was a pack that came with a palm, um, the dashboard, and a couple other die cuts. So I had, I bought both of those things, um, at actually at different times. I just, ooh, that, I, and then this is from Bloomsicle, as is the pen. Um, ooh, wait, hold on. i see if I can save that die cut. Yeah, I can. Um, and I printed this on cardstock and cut it using my silhouette. Um, so I made myself some die cuts. Um, I love these bows, they're so cute. Okay, anyway, so that is gonna be like that. I think this is so cute. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm just super feeling this. I am actually really like excited to go back to work. I mean, I feel like this may be um, a difference between like 
first kid and second kid, like, so I had the same amount of maternity leave with both, um, cause I was at the same company and I like didn't feel like it was enough with my daughter and I get 24 weeks of maternity leave, um, not 12 or not zero, um, as is the case in this country, sadly, many times. So I get a really generous amount of maternity leave. Um, so it's not like I have, uh, haven't been off for a while and this time I definitely feel like ready to go back I mean um, it's also really nice I work reduced hours I work from home um, you know I pretty much have like the most ideal situation okay so in here I am gonna jump in this we'll have to see if this is too thick so I have this really cute listing insert from Jacenius printables I bought this it was limited edition um, and I like bought it specifically for this so I have to try and fit it in and then this is my mini month it looks like this I use it for um, like editorial calendar um, all that kind of stuff uh, and yeah so I oh I'm gonna actually just use that washi that I uh, had cut before for this um, on this one and then this one I didn't want to put like a thing over this because that's so cute and then anyway I have um, these two vellums this one is from Happy Scrappy um, and this one I made myself using um, some hand lettering clip art from Jacenius Printables um, and it just says dream big and I foiled it in rose gold it's a little bit janky this is actually the first attempt on this is what almost killed my uh, my um <laughs> my laminator um couldn't remember the word and okay so then I have another jump in I do a lot with this powder pink I think it's like a really pretty it's like almost white but like a hint of color um so I do have a lot of uh so I did have an extra jump in besides the one that came with this so I am gonna again this is gonna be a two jump in I don't think I could fit another one in here honestly I mean I maybe could try maybe I should switch back to a wide but we'll see how this works honestly I don't know how much I'm gonna use this to-do listing thing because I have like my b6 plus my Erin Codron plus I'm like planning on bringing back my hourly planner because I need that for work um, that's mostly what I use that for anyways um, but anyway so like I was saying so um, so we'll see how much this get used and if it feels too thick and I'm not using it I'll pull it out or if I'm using it and it feels too thick I can also just like leave it on my desk since I was thinking that would be like a good work to do listing thing if I need more space than my hourly planner will have which is like an hour and kind of an hourly um, I eventually will start shooting plan with me is in my hourly again um I just need to like get back into the swing of things because honestly I don't like have a good feel for my schedule yet but anyway so like what I was saying is I feel like this should probably be so the, my first time around, even though I had been off for 24 weeks, I was like, no, I don't want to go back to work. Blah. I mean, it was fine when I did. And I, like I said, I work from home. Um, and like, I never go into the, I don't, there's not even an office in my city. I used to travel a lot before I had kids. I don't travel anymore. Um, okay. I'm going to start on the next dash while I am talking. And I have one with a big pocket on the front because you will see. Um, okay. So on the front side of that, I have... Um, this paper that I made myself up again and I printed and then I was trying to make myself another dash I didn't like how it turned out plus I had this card from um, crafts by Towie and I decided I just wanted to use this um, I am gonna round the corners on this um, and first corner rounder appearance and I'm on my last dash that has to be a first anyway so I I just like um, yeah so I work completely from home um, I don't I haven't been I haven't traveled in since since my third trimester of my first kid so like you know more than two and a half years ago um, and and this paper is from Jacenius Printables um, so I have like a really ideal setup now I'm a personnel manager I have like um, some folks that work for me that also work remotely um, which is really nice because we you know I feel like I'm able to help them with that. I've worked from home for a really long time. Like I said, even before I had kids, um, this needs just had to trim that down ever so slightly there. Um, but yeah, so it's like a pretty ideal situation. My daughter is in preschool part time and we have a nanny part time. Um, and then, but I get to like, I can eat lunch with my daughter when she's not at school. I can take plenty of breaks to like nurse my son. Um, I actually, even when they're babies, I don't even feel like I need full-time help because like 
if I, he's like pretty easy and he sleeps a lot. So like we don't have to have a hundred percent, you know, childcare coverage for all the hours that I'm working and everything. Anyway, it's just like a really ideal situation. Um, I'm so grateful and I love my job a lot. Um, I have this sticker sheet from Peach Bomb. Like how cute is this? It came with that set again, like I said. So I, I'm going to slide this in this pocket as like deco, um, deco-y type situation and then I just have another one of these bloomsicle bows which um actually I think I'm gonna put this on the outside so I'm gonna grab one that is uh laminated and I'm gonna cut that out I'm gonna use this smaller one I made myself like a lot of these bows because I just really 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 like them um and I figured even if I don't use them in the setup I can still use them it's like such a pretty bow anyways once I figured out like how to do the cut lines I was like just all the bows all the bows all the bows um but yeah so anyway so it's a pretty ideal work situation um it's also like mentally rewarding and I think that was like when you have your first kid it's so overwhelming and like I didn't really miss the mental stimulation um that comes from like doing analytical work and speaking to other grown-ups and we were also living in Boston for a lot of that time and my husband was in grad school so it was like a totally different sort of schedule and then we moved and so it felt like really chaotic but this time it's really felt like a lot um a lot sort of not easier I mean it's still maternity leave is not vacation, very much not, but it hasn't felt like as overwhelming. Um, and that has made me feel like, m you know, more missing, um, some of the things that I get out of working, like, you know, thinking about analytical problems and thinking my way through them and, you know, teaching other analysts how to do that as well. Um, which I've super missed. Okay, so this last insert here is my monthly insert. It is from 1407 Planners. Um, and I am going to put you some washi to tape this on the front, but then I have to cover the barcode in the back. If you've watched my setups before, you guys know that the barcodes on these inserts drive me bananas. I just can't have a barcode in my planner set up in view. I mean, you know, no hate on like doing your branding and putting your mark on things, etc. I really love this like plaid that came in the uh, August sub box. Um, but anyway, I am gonna, I think, stick a bow on this. I can see if this is big enough. Um, not. Okay, I just found a little scrap of paper that I had printed um, while I was getting stuff together. Ooh, and this is that just any it's printables paper so I'm just gonna put that on the back there and then I do have a vellum for this this is my monthly insert like my regular it's from 1407 planners um here's September like I already filmed the plan with me for this it's up on my channel but so it's just like a blank monthly insert um again I love the layout of this not the paper but I am sticking with it um oh I forgot to do the back of this insert anyway all right <laughs> whoops okay so on the back of that I have um oh I actually and this is like my favorite one so it's not a setup without a Holly Nichols print so I have this gorgeous Holly Nichols print and I was gonna just stick that bow on this coffee cup um because how cute is that um I am gonna stick that on with a drop of washi though because I want to be able to like save these Holly Nichols prints forever and ever So I just grabbed some like non-simply gilded washi to sort of stick that on um, and I am going to, you know, just pop, put a bow on it. Um, so cute. Oh my gosh. It needs, everything needs a bow. And then on the back of this, I have a dashboard that I made myself. I love this. Um, so this is paper and art from Bloomsicle um, and then hand lettering by Jesenia. Um, that I bought in her shop and I foiled it and it just says dream big and I think that's so cute I know this is definitely like a little bit more back to schooly than back to work but I actually used to carry um, like a really really silly like backpack um, when I traveled for work not like I wouldn't take it to see clients or anything it was not professional but it was like like straight up Lisa Frank level um, like 
and I <laughs> was coming home uh, from Houston, which is like where my company's uh, main U.S. office is, and um, I, I saw like a coworker that I did I didn't see him. I had like my headphones in. I was in the zone. A coworker was like flying out, and he saw me in the airport. And then we were on a call together like the next week, and he's like, "Oh, I thought I saw you in the airport." And I was like, um, "You should have said hi." And he was like, "Oh, I didn't. I wasn't a hundred percent sure it was you. Um, so I, and I didn't want to like be weird. Um, but do you have?" And he's like, "Do you have like an absurdly childish girly backpack?" And I was like, "Yes, I do." And he was like, "Okay, it was you." Um, so I. I did get called out for that. Ooh, that's like super janky. Um, so, but you know, if it makes you happy, I still carry a backpack actually, but a diaper bag one that is not uh, absurdly girly. It's pretty in leather or fake leather, I guess. I just had to like smooth that out a little bit and just trim it down. I, after like bragging about my strategy for getting these lined up, I did a terrible job with cutting all of this paper. So that's fun. Um, anyway, here is my last dash and my last insert. Um, I do feel like this went a lot faster. I don't know if I was just because I was excited or because I did more in advance. We'll see when I edit it. Okay, that's it's thick and especially the weekly inserts like get and up getting a little bit thicker um because i use a lot of stickers in them anyway but this it's, it's like a fine thickness it looks pretty chunky um some of these vellums um are just a little bit over long so i am gonna trim these down a little bit off camera um i don't like how much that like this heart one and this dream big one are cutting are sticking out so I am going to trim those down ever so slightly um, off camera while I'm off camera but I can um, wait a minute to do that because I am going to do um, some pocketing here I'm actually going to start with the back pocket because I, it's a lot easier to do um, okay So I have this big vellum folder that I made myself. Um, I have a video, uh, you can check out how to make these on like one of my previous setups or um, I think I have something on Instagram TV. I will save something to my highlights on how to make these as well. It's super easy um, and I have been using these instead of paper in my back because I like to have two pockets in my pack. I actually made, because um, I was like cutting it down, so I printed that. Jasenia's paper and I made myself two pockets. Um, this one's like kind of square and this one is kind of like super little, um, but I actually think I'm just gonna pop them both in. Um, so I'll actually even have three pockets, but this one is like, one is hiding. Um, and then this one, I like, you know, you can sort of peek that out a little, um, however you wanna do it. So sort of, I like to have a small pocket and a big pocket. The small, the big pocket fits stickers um, if you want stickers in there, and the little pocket um, is actually perfect for like stamps or receipts. So I'm just gonna really hide that very little one in there and then have that one sort of peeking out. And then matching that paper, um, I did cut this down um, that's just printed on cardstock. And then I have. Um, a simply gilded bow that I'm gonna put there. So I just think that looks really, really cute. Um, I might, I could even do like a fox and pit bow or something. I have like um, some vinyls there, but I'll do that. I'll go back and hunt for vinyl spots at the end as I usually do. Um, okay, so that is like that and then Um, I have these two little die cuts. This one I made myself. It is from the um, the Bloomsicle Art, and this one is from Peach Palm. And I think I am gonna like clip those on, kind of like that. I think that's really cute. Um, I just like to have a really decorative back view. Um, these aren't laminated, but I may also think about like laminating these. Um, Yeah, I'm probably gonna laminate those for like a little bit of extra protection, um, but I can do that. Um, it might be fine though. Anyway, so that's like cute. Um, I may stick like a washi card or something in there too. Um, 
have not made my washi cards just yet. And then on the front pocket, um, what I have is that's so I printed this paper and then I just laminated it for a little bit of extra protection. It's not like full length paper. It just like to basically to sneak a little peek out of there. And then I have um, some. Just try and remember how I have that. So I have this little planner society or planner sophisticate scrap. I keep like saying planner society, but I mean planner sophisticate. The only thing from planner society in here is that one acetate. Um, anyway, um, and then I have this is just a little bit of rose gold floral paper from Hobby Lobby. Um, that is just like a scrap from another setup, um, just like to have a little extra wrap in there and then this is printed bloomsicle paper um, just to put that in and then this was my favorite die cut and I like kept I couldn't figure out like how I wanted it in um, but it's like honestly like look at this I have stickers like this too that's from peach palm and I just laminated it um, and I I'm like I'm really I'm just really into this die cut um, anyway so I am gonna figure out how to put this on in a way that doesn't make it so you can't read it. And then I also have this bow um, that is from Bloomsicle and I turned it into a die cut to pop that in. And then I may, like I'm gonna do two washi cards. I know where one's gonna go, but um, I don't, I'll either pop the other one into the front or the back. Um, but I just think that looks really, really cute. Um, just like, kinda like that, anyway. Coffee first, life motto is there, especially when it comes to going back to work. Um, anyway, yeah, so that is really fun. Um, okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera off um, and get like, trim this down, laminate those die cuts and get some finishings, etc. and I will be right back. Okay, so while the camera was off, I went ahead and put this vinyl on because I wasn't sure it was going to work. And then once I started, I had to just like finish it so that it didn't get messed up. Anyway, this is my custom name um, from Jesenia's Printables and I cut it on like pink hollow vinyl. And I think that's like so cute. I was scared it wasn't going to cut right because it's like a pretty intricate one, but it actually cut like super nicely. Um, so I'm just going to like fill in some of the pockets um, and stuff. Um, so anyway, I have a pocket on this one and I'm gonna put some sticky notes in there. I have these from the Simply Gilded, um, like April, April box, I think, to put in here. And I'm just taking like a couple of them. I don't need a whole bunch in there. Um, is that what I, no, actually, I think I wanna put a wash, the washi card in here, just like more deco-y. Anyway, this is like a fake washi card that I made. It's on um, like acetate with hollow paper. Um, I have a, a video up on my Instagram about how to make those. I am probably gonna make another washi card for this setup once the pre-sale stuff comes in. So depending on how long that takes to get here, that may or may not be in this video, but anything I add in, I will go ahead and show you on my weeklies, um, on my weekly plan with me's and stuff. I think that looks really cute like that. Um, just like a little splash of deco. And then let's find my other pockets. Here is where I wanna put the sticky notes on this um, this inside view. I can always change it around. I love to have sticky notes in here. I do end up using them quite a bit. Um, and then I think I wanna also just, I have this rose gold Fox and Pip vinyl decal. And I think I also wanna put that on this like pocket. I think that'll be really, really cute so that'll be like it'll look like it's almost on there um so anyway these are super easy to put on um and you just kind of like rub them down a little bit um and then peel them up just like that anyway that's really cute i have i'm like actually next time she does grab bags i should grab them i have starting to run low on those although i um i have like folders that i can use again with them on them so it's not like you know, anyway. Um, and then this pocket just has these peach bomb stickers in it. So that is everything with that. Like I said, I'm probably gonna make another washi card, but I wanna wait for the pre-sale. Um, okay, so I have two page markers that I made. Um, 
and they are both made from that bloomsicle art this was just like one of the clip arts that's just like a giant cell phone um, I printed a pattern on the back and put a simply gilded bow on it just so that it was like semi double-sided but obviously this is the front I think that's like so cute it's like a cell phone page marker and then I went ahead and made myself one of those stacked bow bookmarks so I just printed out all of the bows and cut them on my silhouette individually and then I just kind of like layered them um like sort of like every other this one is not double-sided um and then I laminated them together like that and just trimmed around it I think that those are both so cute so I was going to use these as like page markers um I have some clips like already picked out but I don't um and I'm like I am ordering some more so like Basically, I don't have as much rose gold stuff. I made some stuff because that's always what happens with rose gold. Um, I haven't planned in this insert yet. This will be my first week in there, but I am going to just pop that in there. Um, and I always feel like it like stretches my creativity a little bit because I have to like make stuff myself. Um, so this is what I actually have for the front. Um, I think, um, and it is a just gigantic bow. It's from Walmart, um, from the sewing section. And I, um, I like always, anytime I go in Walmart, I like just take a peek in there to see what they've got in like that little odds and ends basket that, in the sewing section. And I just had an extra rose gold jump band and I just stuck that on. I think that's like so cute, just like a gigantic oversized bow um, on the front. And honestly, like I kind of bought this to make a headband for my daughter, but it's like way too big, obviously. Um, for her little head anyway I just think that that is really cute um for my spine I have um this little um this little charm from blush bow boutique although I feel like I've seen this everywhere I don't think it's unique to her shop but she did have it in rose gold so I will pop that on um there I may add something else on um that is a rose gold one right um I feel like um uh... I can't tell. Hold on. It's really hard to tell under the lights. Um, okay, I do think it is. Um, anyway, then I also have um, two pen loops that I made. Um, this one was from an older setup, and then this one I made, and this is actually on like kind of like a marble binder clip, so I thought that was like kind of cute. Um, mix it up a little bit, and I really like this darker blue. Um, so I'm going to pop these on. So I put the bows on off camera because I feel like I can never do it in a timely fashion. It takes me forever to get them situated. And um, I will be right back when everything in here is all done and I will do a final flip through. Okay, I am ready to do my final flip through. Um, I've added in a couple of things and all of done all of my clips and situated everything how I want it um, I will let you know where everything is from and what I made myself if you have any questions just let me know in the comments down below um, so this is my b6 foxy fix uh, botanical orchard with light purple stitching uh, powder pink elastics and a fox and pick hip blind embossed bow on the front of that I have a giant bow which I just grabbed at Walmart and it is just I stuck it on a jump band to use it as a charm or a jump ring um, on the side here I have two charms this one is from um, blush bow boutique and this one I actually made myself just dangling there gotta bling this thing out all uh, all the way out so I am just gonna flip through this and I will tell you where stuff is from if I don't mention where something is from um, the base of this is bloomsicle clip the bloomsicle back to school clip art that I printed myself so you can just assume that's where something is from if I did not m specifically mention it again some of those bloomsicle papers with a planner sophisticate paper um, and a Hobby Lobby paper a peach palm die, die cut and a bloomsicle little die cut that I made um, and those are are just with teardrop paper clips and you can grab those paper clips on Amazon I have them linked in the description below um, on the first dash I have some of that bloomsicle paper with a dashboard from peach palm um, on that and then in the inside here again I just printed all of these papers double-sided um, with some peach palm die cuts and a custom name from Jesenius Printables, which I turned into a vinyl and then cut it on hollow vinyl paper. Um, that's Crooked Bland, Brand, 
Cricut brand um, vinyl uh, that I cut. Anyway, and then I have a happy scrappy vellum around a, um, a perpetual calendar that I use as like a future log. And on this, I have a paper clip that I made myself. Um, and it's just a flower that I grabbed in a pack at Hobby Lobby. It was, came with like a whole pack of flowers. And I just glued that onto a purple paper clip, like shoved the paper clip in between the flower and the felt. Then next I have my Rock Your Notebook Blue Shimmer Insert. This is a blank insert with Tomahoe River paper. I use this for like just general listing, random notes I want to take, and also my pre-planning slash lettering practice that I do um, for a lot of my filming stuff. And then I have a Kanko XOXO um, jumbo wide paper clip with the blue bow on it that is part of the stuff that I just got in for this setup that I'm super excited about. Um, and then on this page is a paper from uh, Jesenia's Printables that I turned into a printed on vellum. Um, super cute. And then this is my memory keeper. And I have um, some more of those teardrop paper clips on here. But this one I went ahead and turned into a... Um, a dangle clip and I made myself a little charm and then just slid that on. So it was a really, really fun. Um, I won't say it was easy to do because honestly, uh, they were like a little bit difficult to figure out how to make, but once I figured it out, it was fine. And I did used to do a little bit of jewelry making, um, but it's definitely like an attainable project. It's just, it takes a bit of time. So mad respect to shop owners who make dangle charms and just charms in general. Anyway, then I have one of these DIY pen loops on my neck back sleeve, and this is the MNA2 pen gem, um, and the binder clip is actually from Target. Um, this is more bloomsicle paper and a uh, journaling card from Scribble Prints Go. So cute. On the back here, um, I have some more of that bloomsicle paper, and then this I actually got in the mail recently, and I just had to pop it in. I don't even have anything in there yet, but it is an adhesive pocket, um, and it says make it happen, and it was in rose gold foil. I got that in a ColourPop paper order. It came as like a freebie, which is awesome, so I just like absolutely had to use it, even though I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there, if anything, I just, but I also just... I love it. So it needed to go in. Then on my next insert, which is my regular, my new weekly insert, um, I have a Jusenia's printable paper on there, uh, vellum, and then a an old acetate from the Planner Society. Um, and I have a like fake washi card in here. It just says like decoration and it's just a bunch of different rose gold simply gilded washies. And it's on that like hollow paper um, that's from Hobby Lobby that you like stick over stuff. And I just made that on acetate. Um, and there I put a bloomsicle bow on top. So this is my Rock Your Notebook weekly insert. Um, it's like a week on four pages. I have a Kanko XOXO jumbo wide paper clip right on there in white, um, marking my page. And I have this bookmark that I made from the Bloomsicle clip art. Just made these bows, printed them, cut them um, using my silhouette, then stacked them and laminated them like that. This is like a week on you know, with listing and then a week on one page or two pages. Um, and then I have another dangle charm here that I made myself. And this one I slipped onto a Kanko XOXO jumbo wide paper clip that I had um, handy. So I really like how those have those turned out. Um, and then on to my next dash sleeve, I made this uh, dashboard myself. Um, from some bloomsicle clip art and a Jesenia's Printables custom name. Um, I think that looks super cute. On the back of that, I printed some planner sophisticate paper. I have a pocket with a fox and pipo and sticky notes from the April Simply Gilded box. This is my mini months um, insert. I have a dream big vellum that I, this was Jesenia's Printables like word clip art and I just turned it into like did the pattern and turned it into um, a vellum. And then I, this is a mini month insert. It looks like this. Um, and I have another dangle clip on there that I made myself and slipped that on a teardrop one. I also have this bookmark that I made myself with like this, um, suede cord and some charms on either end so this took a little bit of time to figure out but it was actually not that hard to do if you'd like to see a video on how I made them definitely let me know and I can try and put something together on Instagram or on here um and but anyway I do think this turned out like super super cute I like really like how it turned out and then I also have a um a floral paper clip that I put on a Kanko XOXO um jumbo wide paper clip and the flower is just from Walmart. Um, and then 
Um, I have next up, I have a listing insert that's from Jesenia's Printables and it had like this cute cover. Um, I have this happy scrappy vellum on top of that and it is foiled. And then I have another paper clip that I, um, is a Kanko XOXO jumbo wide paper clip and it is the Simply Gilded bow from the August box that I just took off the charm and then slid onto the paper clip instead to use that in here. Um, and then on the back of that dash, I have some more bloomsicle paper with this Scribble Prints Go journaling card, and I have um, the April box, the April Simply Gilded sub box pen in another DIY pen loop. I have a bunch of videos on Instagram and on YouTube on how to make these, so definitely check that out. It's saved to my highlights, super easy on Instagram. On the back of that, more bloomsicle paper, peach palm die cuts, bloomsicle die cuts, super easy. Um, love how this I just I'm so obsessed with this setup I'm hoping to stay in this for kind of a while since I am back at work now um and you know TN setups are kind of time consuming to make so I am hoping that this will last me until like winter um but you never know because I I tend to like to do them um anyway more bloomsicle paper an adhesive pocket from Amazon um stickers from peach palm and a bloomsicle die cut there on the back of that I have planner sophisticate paper or Jesenia's printables paper with a crafts by Towie dashboard. And then this is bloomsicle art that I printed as a vellum. Um, it's like a paper with my monthly spread. This monthly is from the 1407 planners. Um, that's what it looks like stickered. It's just a blank undated one unstickered. Um, this was my September. I have a studio signe bookmark charm in here that is a uh, pearl with rose gold and it has initials and it has my kids uh, first letter initials. Um, and then as well, I have a uh, bloom uh, a blush bow boutique bow that I absolutely love. It's got like lace and satin, and it's really pretty on a skinny paperclip. And then I also just have like this little envelope paperclip that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I pop that in there as well. Um, all of the jewelry making supplies that I use to like make my charms, like all the beads and stuff like that, are all from Hobby Lobby. Um, the Michaels near me is like not that nice, um, but the Hobby Lobby is spectacular, so I tend to go to Hobby Lobby instead. Um, on the back of that dashboard is a Holly Nichols print with a bloomsicle bow taped onto it. I just think that looks so cute. And so on the back page here, I have um, a dashboard that I made myself with the bloomsicle paper and clip art, and then a Jesenio's printables hand lettering um, that says dream big, just like the vellum. Um, and I did just foil the dream big. I think that looks so cute. Um, and then on my back pocket, I have some pocket folders um, here. I have a big one that can hold, is big enough to hold like sticker kit stickers, um, which I don't I used to keep sticker kit stickers in them, but I don't I usually do just pre-planning in here, but it's nice to have in case I want to throw like my monthly stickers or something in there. Anyway, and then I have two smaller pockets. These I usually put like stamps or receipts in. Um, I just was making this side and I had a little scrap, so I decided to just turn that one into a pocket as well since it fit in the same um, like laminating folder um, with, as those, and I do laminate those in my like uh, my Amazon Basics laminator. Um, and if you watch one of my previous setups, you can see how I make them. Um, but anyway, I have this little um, scrap of paper that I just like rounded the corners on and taped a simple like, gilded bow onto in the pocket here. And then I have a couple of die clets that are clipped on here. This little bag one is from Peach Pump, and the other two are ones that I made from the uh, Bloomsicle clip art. Okay, that is everything for this video all wrapped up. I'm gonna give this one last little 360 spin to show you all of my views. I hope you really liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at MyCraftyPlants to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye.